Hey guys, we're super excited to announce a new project for the garage, our very own stunt wire system. It'll be super useful for testing out the new exoskeleton legs. Now you may be wondering, where did we come up with such a crazy idea? Well, it's pretty simple actually. One day, I was looking up in the garage and I was like, you know what, we have some really, really high ceilings. We should make use of that vertical space. So we ran over to Home Depot and got some pulleys and some aircraft cables. We strung them up to the ceiling, tied weights on the other end, and gave it a try. Unfortunately, it didn't work very well. Take a look. <laughs> we need a dampener. <laughs> I think we got a small moment. <laughs> now that's a bit painful, but don't worry. We're not giving up on this project just yet. What we need are better pulleys and we decided to hack them together ourselves. So we're gonna use bearings from Boca Bearings to uh, try and reduce the friction in the system so it works a bit smoother. They're called groove bearings and they have this nice little groove just like a pulley. And the aircraft cable is way too thick. So we're gonna go all out instead. And use Kevlar. So the system is actually quite simple. Basically, you have a me right here, stick man, with a little top hat. And uh, there are four sets of pulleys on the ceiling. So what happens is we're wearing some kind of maybe like a bungee jumping harness or something else that's actually designed for this use. We could use a rock climbing harness, which we'll probably do for the first test, but we're planning on getting something proper. Likely some fall rest. Something like that. So what happens is the Kevlar rope goes up the ceiling across the pulley, and then down to a weight. So on one side you have 50 pounds, and on the other side you have another 50 pounds. I only weigh 150 pounds. If there is minimal friction in the system, that means I effectively only weigh 50 pounds, one third of my weight. That means, hypothetically, I should be able to jump three times as high. In addition, I can do a backflip. Logically, that means I can do a triple backflip standing. We'll have to test this theory. Do you have any more? And there you have it. We're going to start collecting the materials we need, so stick around for part two. Fabrication!